The effect you're hearing is being created with MIDI Gator, a simple audio gate controlled over MIDI. You can see a controller adjusting the depth knob and eventually the release knob. Let's go through a quick walkthrough of the plugin. It won't take long, it's a very simple plugin. First, let's put it on a track. You'll want to put it on an audio track. If you want to use MIDI Gator on a track like a synth, which is already on a MIDI track, then assign that track to a group or sub, or use a send to another track, but get it to an actual audio track. Next, we'll want to control MIDI Gator with a MIDI track or a controller, so you'll need a dedicated MIDI track. This track will need to be sent to the audio track we just set up as a sidechain. This is how you do it in Reaper. General instructions for doing the same in other DAWs are in the user manual, which is available on the Sonatura website. Make sure you turn audio in this send off. You only want MIDI to be sent to the sidechain. And that's it for the initial setup. Now, whenever you play any MIDI note on any channel or use the sustain pedal, the gate will open and the green light shows when the gate opens. There are attack and release controls for the gate itself, and the third control is for the depth of the gate. Turning it down from 100% will let some of the original signal through at all times, only turning full up when the gate is open. The final control, dynamics, will allow MIDI Gator to follow the velocity of the first note pressed. You can press more notes if you want, but the velocities of those notes are ignored until the gate closes and opens again. The sustain pedal gives us a value of 127, or maximum velocity. And that's it. A very simple plug-in that does just one job and can make things easier for you. Have fun with it.